Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone who retweeted and liked uh, my Twitter thing the other day and people who commented. Um, thank you very much. Right, today's beer is another beer from the Fullers. From the Fullers. Fullers. Um, the Griffin Brewery out of London. It's their Wild River Double Hopped Pale Ale or American Pale Ale. Um, it's coming in at 4.5% ABV. Um, quite a, most of the beer reviews have done this before. Um, I won't name them all. I'll put the links down below so you can check through them. Um, so yeah, 4.5%. Um, it's been double double hopped with their a unique amount. That's what they're saying of American hops. There's their bottle cap. Shit, it's gone everywhere. Didn't think it was going even looking. There we go, never mind. That's what happens sometimes. Oh well, let's carry on. Um, have we got anything here? No, just going to have to make do. Gone everywhere. Alright, beer in the glass. Wasn't expecting that. I'll leave that little bit just there. Right, let's try and dry off a little bit. Beer reviews. <laughs> right, not much of a head in that. It, most of it flew out the top, so um, it's just covering the top of the beer white, nearly gone. So it's very clear. Decent carbonation. Nice kind of goldeny colour. Let's get an aroma then. Nice kind of citrusy, lemon, lemon peel. Very light. Smells really nice. Slight malt. Well balanced on the aroma. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Nice, zesty, lemon zest. Slight spicy edge. Leaving a lovely tang on the palate. Very nice. It's, it's got that lovely kind of floral hop. It's almost there's there's a bit of grapefruit in there as well. Um, it's not massive, but it's very drinkable. It's really nice. I haven't had this beer for quite a while. I remember when I first tried it, I thought it was one of the most toppiest things I've ever had. Back in the day. Mm. Very sessionable. There's a slight bitter. There's a slight bitter back end. But it got that zestiness. It's lovely. Um, inspired by the American craft brewery movement. This double hopped pale ale. Or American pale ale. It's what it's um, when I looked it up. Um, uses a unique blend of the finest American hops, including Liberty. I always butcher this one up. Is it Willamite? Probably wrong. Cascade and Chinook, giving a wonderful zesty beer, bursting with citrus flavours and a satisfying bitter finish. Yeah, I'm, I'm pick up slight spiciness as well. So get the rest of this beer in then. Didn't really want to generate much of a head this beer. So looking at that, it's, it's a filtered beer. Um, 
so I said really citrusy very drinkable especially on a hot day very nice nice light beer 4.5 percent lovely bit of artwork on the front I do like that you can get this beer in uh, cans now the artwork is really look that bear yeah, and the salmon leaping there in front of it fantastic um, kind of looks I watch a lot of wildlife programs so it's kind of very Alaska ish um, so yeah they've, they've been around since 1845 Fuller's best before 14th of April 2017 by the looks of it I only bought it the other day. I purchased this beer in Asda, so um, very easily gettable here. Anyway, um, I think it's part of four for a five pounds, so it's pretty good. Right, as for a rating, then it's very drinkable, nice, kind of ses sessionable American pale ale. Um, I'll give that. That's nice. I'll give that an 8 out of 10. That's that's very nice. Um, there's a nice bit of back end to the beer. Um, it may be a bit too bitter for you if you're new into drinking real ale. Um, but, it, you know, it's borderline. Give it a go, see what you think. But I, I think it's a nice one to go for, personally. It gives you a little bit more flavour. Anyway, if you've had... Where is it? Wild River from Fuller's before, let us know what you think. I'll put them links down below from the other fellow beer reviewers and um, I'll see you next time. Cheers.